Okay, so here we have the two silver motors uh, mounted. Um, one on top of each other basically, uh, one for each axis, the Y and the X axis. Um, and this is the platform that the maze will be mounted on, um, right on top here. Um, right now one of the servos is malfunctioning due to a uh, improper power supply hookup. So you're gonna, only going to see rotation on, on one axis, the, the uh, top one right here. So you see rotation on that based on the accelerometer located here. Um, so here's the platform, and uh, as the as the accelerometer is twisted, let me get around the other angle see so you can see a little easier. easier. Um, so here's the axis, and as the accelerometer moves, you can see that twist. And it ranges from a pulse position modulated value of. Um, 1500 being level, uh, 1300 being uh, one direction, and 1700 the other direction. And like I said, one of the servo motors, the other servo motor sitting beneath it is malfunctioning. Um, so I can't really plug, I can't hook that in otherwise it'll go a little bit crazy. But you can see uh, movement on at least one axis. And uh, now I'll hook up the maze to it and you can see the maze actually moving um, in just a second. So now I've hooked up the maze um, on the platform. You can see the platform below holding up the maze. Um, like I said only one server is hooked up right now so you're, gonna, you're only going to see tilt on in one direction. Um, and here's the small marble in the corner. It's going to be used to navigate through the maze. Um, and, and you're going to see when it tilts going to be some movement. You pan out a little bit. And you can see the controller going to tilt it. Ball moves in one direction. Ball moves in the other direction. And since it's only one axis, um, due to the malfunction, obviously I can't navigate uh, left and right like I want to show you the whole maze but you can at least see that the tilt works um, as the controller is twisted um, and most of the vibrations have been dampened before it would oscillate um, I try to lower the sensitivity a little bit as much as I could so uh, the board stays still as you're trying to figure out which way you want to go um, so you can see there's not too much vibration and uh, if you work with it, you can uh, actually navigate through the maze. Though uh, only on one axis, it's, uh, it's difficult. Um, sometimes it happens because that's actually the second, the second uh, um, axis. Um, it's loose because it's not plugged in. If it was plugged in, it would shake out violently. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So relatively successful. Uh, if both axes were working, I would love to show you that. But uh, only one of them is working. Let's see if we can let's get a little bit out, a little bit more out of it. Um, oh, I see the wires are hitting the bottom, kind of pushing it. But uh, that's pretty much uh, it's pretty much the project in a nutshell. Uh, I'll try to get the second server working. Hopefully, we can navigate through the whole maze for the next video.